So I've had a request to uh, talk a little bit about this video um, and ex explain exactly what's going on, so I'll give it a go. So this is just a casual fight with Bob, who's been doing uh, uh, sort of Dark Age Sword and Shield stuff for a while. Now one of the, the principles of fighting with the big shield is of course trying to pin the flat of your opponent's shield with the edge of yours um, in order to pin it to him or flip it over. Now Bob presents the flat of his shield to, to me momentarily and I come in with the edge, um, but he's seen that before and so he quickly gets out of dodge. Um, so I'm unable to complete the shield by him there because he gets away. Likewise here, I'm going to come in and attempt to again pin his shield from the inside. And again, Bob has seen this before and quickly gets away before I can get close enough to pin him. So Bob makes a couple of mistakes here. First of all, you can see his arm is drifting well beyond his shield rim, making it a target. Um, and also, this sort of milling around with the sword uh, is generally speaking not a good idea. Okay. So all I really have to do is wait for that uh, arm to come out as a target, particularly when it's on the way away from me. I can attack it uh, using the rim of my shield. Um, and then get a solid reverse blow with the axe into Bob's head. Um, so don't mill around with your weapon, okay? It, it's mechanically inefficient and opens up all sorts of opportunities to get hit. Uh, that also demonstrates that the, the big shield is an offensive weapon. Um, so here I'm actually again kind of attacking or at least closing off the line of Bob's sword, which in this case is low and underarm, with the edge of my shield, which again occupies him and gives me the opportunity to get that reverse blow into his head. Here I try a little bit of a, a feint. Um, uh, parry Bob's attack with the shield, um, feint a high one to draw his shield high and then reverse it to come in low. I don't actually think I hit him there, um, but in principle, Bob just blinded himself with the shield, allowing me to cut low. And if my axe had been a little longer, that might have worked. And although it is a little short, I have come to really like the axe. I kind of prefer it to the sword at this stage because it does allow you to sort of hook people's shields and arms. And, and yeah, it's a fun weapon to play with. Now, the principles of fighting with a big shield really aren't that different to fighting with any other companion weapon, so here's a really basic one. Bob swings at my legs and so I slip, I drop my shield down and I counter cut uh, with a reverse to the head to stay out of the way of his shield. Um, it's exactly what I do with a buckler or a dagger. And like any companion weapon, uh, the shield can be used offensively as well as defensively, and particularly attacking the other person's hand. In this case, it drifts out from beyond the edge of the shield again, so I can check it and even strike it with the edge of the shield. And here, again, this very simple technique. Uh, Bob comes in with a bit of a reverse blow, which I simply parry with the edge of the shield and return, again, that high reverse blow into the head or neck. Now, I misread this one entirely. Uh, Bob delivers a reverse thrust pretty, pretty closely to how you do it in, say, 133, and I miss it entirely, and it goes straight into my belly. Yeah. Now, the previous reverse blow, I just parried just by extending the edge of my shield, but I can also parry it with what we call an inside guard with the big shield, where you flip it over the other side of your body. Uh, this parries the sword with the whole surface of your shield, and deflects it rather nicely, particularly when people are a little bit closer, um, which really knocks Bob away in this particular case, and again, he gets an axe into the side of his head. Here I'm going to take the inside shield guard as a sort of a ward of invitation just to invite Bob to attack me on the other side. It's of course a trap. He's seen it before. He knows how to counter it, um, so nothing much is going to happen here. Here, on the other hand, something does happen. Again, I'm going to use the edge of my shield to attack Bob's sword hand, which is not really 
when it's in that low guard, it's not really covered by the shield, which allows me to attack it, pin it, and get an axe into his head long before he can get his sword out and sort of counterplay. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're starting to get a little bit tired, so I have a sort of a flurry of blows with nothing really landing. And then we have another flurry, and this time something does happen. Bob hits me on the head. Um, and really, that's entirely my fault, because having not hit him, I failed to recover with either my shield or my axe to uh, protect myself. I'm just relying entirely on distance to get out of the way, and that's not good enough. However, looking at it in slow motion, it does look like Bob just slaps me on the forehead with the flat. So if it had been a real fight, I might have walked away from that feeling quite relieved. And this is why I, I really quite like the sort of single-handed axe, because having, even though I don't quite get round his shield in order to hit him inside of the head in this particular case, um, I can use the axe to kind of rip down onto his sword and sword hand and pull it out of position. Um, and possibly if that had been real, I might have done some damage to his sword hand as well. This time it works a little better. Um, again, I managed to hook that sword out of the way with the hook of the axe, pull it down, and then swing around, and this time I do get a solid blow into his neck before Bob can get his sword back up into my face. So, getting tired now, a couple more hits to go. Um, again, there's another flurry of blows from Bob. Um, at this time he gets a good solid hit with the edge onto my head um, and again that's my fault for dropping my shield low there. So obviously I have to take revenge. So here we go. One, two, and then three for good measure. So I start by hooking that shield aside, finally get that in, check his sword head with my shield, try the reverse blow. He gets his shield in the way of that and reposts, so I bear that aside with the inside shield guard and hit him in the side of the head. He reposts again, so I bear that aside with a hanging shield guard and hit him in the head. Um, at that stage, Bog shoots up, but just to be sure, I hit him in the head again. So I hope that is... Uh, quench the curiosi curiosity of uh, the person who asked, um, and that's a little bit about some big shield fighting, uh, and particularly using the little single-handed axe.